Amongst the masses crowded behind me at the Volkswagen Group preview for the 2011 Frankfurt Motor Show is Skoda's feature car, which is the Mission L concept. The Mission L is a compact saloon that's due to go into production next year. So the model you can see behind us is still a concept. However, it's the closest thing you're going to get to production that you'll see at the Frankfurt Motor Show this year. Reports claim it's 80% complete in the form we're seeing it in today. Skoda hopes this new model will fill the void between the Skoda Fabia and the Octavia. Now the Fabia priced from about 10 grand and the Octavia 14 grand means that this car will fit in at around 12,000 pounds when it's available next year. Saloons of this size are fairly sparse on the market at the moment, so expect this new Skoda to go up against the Volkswagen Golf and Ford Focus which dominate in the medium segment. Now it might not look all new to you if you've been following Skoda recently. It shares much of the same design cues as the Vision D concept that we saw earlier this year at the Geneva Motor Show. When telling us about this new model, Skoda were adamant that it was going to be affordable and fairly decent sized. So that means a big boot and plenty of room in the back for the family. You can find out more about Skoda's Mission L concept and all the other cars featuring at the 2011 Frankfurt Motor Show by logging into witch.co.uk forward slash cars. One point three million is no small number, and the BMW X5 is no small car. That's exactly how many they've sold so far since it launched in 1999. And as of mid-November this year, you can buy this, the third generation of the X5. So what can I tell you about it today? Clearly, it's still an X5, but BMW is saying it's the most aerodynamic in its class. That means there's some seriously big, boxy 4x4s out there. It's also claimed to be the lightest in the luxury SUV segment, and you know what that means, lighter equals less fuel use. The S-Drive 25D claims to return 50 miles to the gallon and less than 150 grams per kilometer of CO2 emissions. But if MPG is less important to you than 0 to 60, then there's a new 4.4 litre V8 petrol X-Drive 50i just to whet that appetite. Five engines in total will be available from launch. Clearly, the X5 is still a capable family car, with acres of interior space and a 650 litre boot. That's 30 litres more than you got in the outgoing X5. But the X5 is now aimed at a more premium market, and you can tell this from the amount of kit that's available. This includes a choice of four different suspension packages and a drive dynamic control which fine-tunes the balance of sport and comfort on the move. There's an X-Drive E-Drive concept with plug-in technology being touted at the show too, but there's no confirmation that this 74 mile per gallon engine will be available just yet. So for now, you'll have to make do with the normal combustion engines. These go on sale in the UK from the 16th of November and will be priced from £42,600. Click one of the links to see our full review of the outgoing BMW X5, to see all the other SUVs the X5 goes up against, and to see all of the new cars launched at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show.